Hey all, this is Crazy Dave, and what makes a good game? To you anyway, what makes a good game? Some of you it might be shooting people up, some of you it might be something else. But I'm going to tell you what makes a good game to me, alright? I'll use The Last of Us and the Uncharted series to describe to you what makes a good game, and I'll break it down. Okay? Uncharted. Good story, especially number two. I think, yeah, the second Uncharted. I think, I think, I haven't played four yet, so I don't even know where, but as, as far as I've played, number two is the best, you know. Uh, but it's also the longest, um, so I'm a little biased. Uh, but I'll use them as an example of what makes a good game. Number one, they got good graphics, but that's not, that's not what makes it a good game. Number two, it's playable. That's partially what makes it a good game. The reason why it's a good game is the storyline in the story. Okay, everything else it has to has to have a story. It has to be playable. Everything else is icing on the cake. The graphics, all that stuff. And number two, they take their time. I've noticed throughout the history of Naughty Dog, and the same with The Last of Us. The Last of Us is has a great story. Loved it. Loved it. I was physically and mentally, well, actually really mentally worn out from playing that game. I, my nerves were shaking. Game's not for everybody because it's a scary type game. It will scare the crap out of you like it did. Like That game scared me, especially if you're playing in the dark like Jason did in Friday the 13th that game okay and I got a little side note the remake of Friday the 13th is sh it just sucks Jason never runs okay um, anyway back on track um, the last of us great story great graphics everything meld into one uncharted great story great graphics everything meld into one but the but the main thing is the story Naughty Dog takes their time. And like I said previously in the video before I switched, Naughty Dog purposely cuts their employment so they don't get too big. I've seen them do it a couple of times. And what that does is that ensures that it has the heart, you know, so that they take time and work on their games. I'll give you another game that not everybody agrees with, but I think is a great story. Uh, Lords of Shadows, the first one. Great story. Twist that I never saw coming. Castlevania, Lords of Shadows. Okay, y'all should play that. Is it on the PS4? No, it was on the PS3. Okay. Listen. Bottom line, I'll take a good story and decent graphics as long as it's playable. I'll play that game. Okay. Now, granted, you put aside the Assassin's Creed, which is the rehash, and you put aside the sports games, which are a rehash, which I openly admit to playing. You can call me a hypocrite if you'd like, you know. But but other than that, it has to have a good story. I could go back to like NES and Ninja Gaiden and things of that nature. But that's the main thing. It has to have a good story and it has to be playable. But I guess I'll, I'll, I, the next gaming video I make will be on specific video games that I've you know, played and whatnot. Or it may be a review of some type. I want to play Red Dead Redemption at some point. Uh, Alright, I love you guys and uh, this is Crazy Dave signing out. Bye.